Welcome back. So now that we have references to the most important elements and we have the design ready, we can start working on the sending the message. And we need to get the message that the user will type here and send it to the chatbot. In other words, we, we need to get it and display it here. And in order to accomplish that, we need to add event listener to the button, to this send button. So that once the user clicks on the send, it's going to get this message and display it here. And of course, send it to the chatbot in the JavaScript code so that we respond accordingly. So what I'm going to do is that in our main.js, I'm going to use the send button and then dot add event listener. And this is the way you can add event listener to the button, to this button. And obviously the event that I'm going to be using is the click event. And the callback function here, we have a callback function, is going to be just a function that will be executed once the user clicks on the button. And once the user clicks on the button, what we need to do is that we need to get the text. We need to get this text. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to just use the text box. Text box dot value. We need to get the value and then store it here in a variable. Let message text equals to text box dot value. Then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create another function here, another function called function send message. And this function is going to take a parameter to have a parameter called message text. And I'm going to call this function from inside the callback. So here I'm going to call it send message and I'm going to pass the message text. That way our code will be more organized than just typing everything inside the callback function here. So now our code will be more organized. So once we call the send message and pass the message text, what we need to do is that we need to create a dev. Why? Because we want to create this dev. Remember the dev, the uh, user dev, which is just a dev that will display the message. And in order to accomplish that, it's very simple. We create a dev using JavaScript. So here we just create a variable called message element and it's going to be equal to document dot create element and the element that we need to create is just the dev but remember the dev that we need to create has many classes as you can see it has the this class and this class and this class and also has some styles so we need to add all of them to the dev and in order to accomplish that we do that also using JavaScript very simple, we can just use the message element that we just created and then dot class list dot add and we pass the element or the class that we want and obviously the classes that we want are these classes, I'm going to just copy them and paste them inside of course here paste them and of course we need to paste uh, each one in a separate line so I'm going to just copy this one and then here another and another. And for the first one we have this class and for the second one we will have the we will only have the float right and for the last one we will have the uh, shadow. We also need to add some styles. So I'm going to use message element dot style dot margin equals to the margin that we want. Remember the margin was the margin was uh, 10 and the padding also 5. So here margin 10 and we also need padding so again message uh, element that style that padding and then equals to 5. So now that we have the design ready for uh, the dev we need to add Inside the dev itself, we need to add two spans, these two spans. And very simple, we can just use the message element dot inner HTML and we pass the complete string of 
uh, these two elements. So I'm going to just copy it and paste it inside these quotes. But of course, we need to fix a few things. Firstly, we need to append this using plus, and we need to add here quote, and again here plus, and again here plus. And here you need to pay attention to how I am going to pass the message. As you can see here, this we need to remove this, and instead we need to pass the message, which is this message. Message text. Here, message text. And finally, after adding all of these, after creating all of these elements, we need to pass this or add it to the DOM. Very simple, we can do that using JavaScript. And that would be accomplished using the chat container. This chat container, here chat container, dot add child or append child. And we pass the message element, which is the dev that contains everything. Here we just pass message element. So now we are done. Let's now test. If I go to the browser and refresh, and let's type a message here. I am great. If I click on this end, as you can see, it's going to be added to the chat container. And of course, these, these two are just here because we already have them inside the container. We can delete them later, but for now, let's uh, just leave them so that we get what we want. We get the, the design whenever we want. But as you can see now, it's the um, the message here is functional. Again, let's test. Very cool. And then send, and it will be added to the container. 